What up, YouTube, man? Stevie Knight here on some Night Talk-ish. Um, before you tap in, shop StevieKnight.com for the drip. Um, and all my links from all my extra stuff, description box below. But um, apparently content creators out here on some real to catch a predator stuff. But Vitaly specifically, I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right if, if I didn't, my bad, dog. But uh, there's a clip going viral. I ain't peeped it yet, man, but the thumbnail look crazy. It says Vitaly and Bradley Martin caught Hollywood writer. It's got cuz name up here. Herschel Weingard, Weingrod, trying to catch up with a minor. Uh, this, this is real. This is tough. During a latest live stream to Catching Predators, Vitaly, Dioro, and Bradley Martin found and exposed Hollywood writer and producer Herschel Weingrod for meeting a 15-year-old girl for pizza, then wanting to go back to his house to watch movies. Oh Lila, what are you doing? You know who this is? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, fuck. What's your name? Who are you? What's your name? Who are you? Why are you suing my fucking daughter? What's your name? What is your name? Boris. My name is Boris. What's Boris. What, what's your name? Shake my hand. What's the problem? What are you suing my fucking daughter? You know how old she is? I don't know. I have no idea. You have no idea? I have no idea. You have no idea? No. What the f you thought was going to happen here? Nothing. I, we're going to have a pizza. I don't know. Pizza? Yeah, you don't know? What a, how old is she? Brad. This better be real, dog. And what? how was the law written? I'm sure they're in California. And if a father was to encounter a predator on a date with his 15 year old daughter, I'm sure he could get off in the courts for beating the brakes off of cuz, bro. Oh, oh, oh man, it's too calm, cool, and collected right now, bro. Like, if that's really. If this really your pops and this big behemoth motherfucker pressing me like this, dog, your life is in danger, my guy. And in the audacity to come and bring the, the I mean, the 15-year-old out here. And, I mean, I guess I guess it could be perceived as him being her grandpops or something. I ain't think that they was like all touchy-feely or whatever, man. But regardless, this is tough, bro. This is tough, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get on, dog. I'm trying to go beat some predators' asses, bro. This is tough. You don't know? What a f how old is she? Brad. I met... I, you know how old she is? I matched with her. She was 23 out of 23. Is that, is that what the conversation looked yeah. like? You know what the text message is? She was 23 out of 23. On a dating on a site. On a dating, dating site. site. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, she was 23 out of How old is she? Site. I have no idea. Lila, how old are you? 15. Oh. I'm sorry. She was 23 on a dating site. All we've done is so talk. she didn't tell you. She didn't tell you how old she was. She did. She did. Yeah. How old is she? She said she was fifteen. How did she tell you how old she actually is? She said she's fifteen. 15. She said she's fifteen. Why are you this fight? Why are you here? Mm. Why are you sitting here? I'm just ha having a with a fucking mm. fifteen year old. Pizza. Mm. Piece of pizza with a fucking fifteen year old. That's not against. You think the that's law. okay? I think it's not against the law. That's not against the law. No. Is that all you spoke about to her? That's ah man, y'all fumbling the bag. <laughs> You fumble in the bag. But it don't matter, bro. You got his fucking face on camera, dog. His cuz locked up or what? What the police said? Is that all you spoke about to her? That's, that, we've just been talking. And really? Yeah, we've been talking and flirting. It's not a big deal. Where are you going? I ordered a piece, so I'm going to go. Okay, have that. a seat. Have a seat. Why? Oh, I'll sit with you. I'll eat pizza with you. We're just having pizza, right? Sorry. Sit right here. Y'all right fumble here. in the Sorry. bag, oh, bro. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Y'all fumble in the bag. Please touch and lick whatever. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's just weird. I don't understand what people So you're a face. pedophile trying to meet a 15-year-old. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. It's not a boy. It's a girl. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you are. Wait. You need to hear audio. You need to hear audio. Look at this guy. Look. Clown. Hi. Right. Let's go. That's crazy, dog. Let's go. That's crazy, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say. If he is who they say he is. What are you doing? It's like. I'm like, we can't grab him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't grab him. You, nope, 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 nope. you can't do that. Let him go. Let him go. You just hold the brick. 
Vitaly. He's trying to meet a 15 year old. Trying to meet a 15 year old. Okay, so what do you guys want to do in this case? In this case? Filming or trying to arrest him? Or? Yeah. yeah, the cops are on the way. Yeah. Please. Well, just let everybody know in your building at a thousand grand, Windsor, there's a pedophile that lives here. Yeah, well, you guys have an encounter and everything, right? Okay. But all that is I guess you guys come data, that the obvious they will have to get any information to the people. Let's go, we got another one to catch. Yeah, so got the cops with you, bro. That is dope to get the cops to pull up, bro. This is hard, dog. This is hard, bro. Cubs is on to something. I hope I'm not getting duped and this shit is this and this shit is fucking real. If I wouldn't imagine you play with some shit like that. You're not gonna play with no child predator shit, dog. Herschel Allen Weingrod is an American screenwriter. He has written and co-written a number of Hollywood blockbusters, including Trading Places, Twins, Kindergarten Cop, and Space Jam, with fellow writer yeah. Timothy Harris. His parents are of Jewish descent. He is a graduate of the London Film School. At the time, Vitali, Dioro, and Bradley Martin had no idea that was Herschel Weingrod. But they later find out Bro, the old guy was famous. Oh, fuck. Bro, people saying he's so famous. He's worth 120 mil? <laughs> no. Nah. Damn, fuck. Know. Damn, they ain't fucking know. I'm trying to see some other shit, dog. Did they, did Buddy get arrested, though? Herschel. Got T. Grizzly on this bitch? Um, Herschel Weingrod. Herschel. Damn, yo, pedophile ass, bro, but like, this is known, bro, like, 76 years old, dog, with a 15-year-old girl, bro. It's like, it's one thing to hear the stories, bro, but to see it right there in action, this motherfucker out here in public with his ballsy, entitled ass, thinking that he's safe to just be out here frolicking with a whole 15-year-old. Dog, like, if that was real pops pulling up, his fucking head would have been in them goddamn cement. 15 year old girl. Well, does he get a. I don't know, what's the statute of limitations for some shit like that? Four days ago. Yep, that's really him. Yeah, live streamers allegedly bust prominent Hollywood producer Herschel Allen Weingrad during interaction with a minor. Weingrad is a prominent figure in Hollywood with credits on blockbuster hits such as Trading Places and Twins, Space Jam, Kindergarten Cop. The famous writer tried to talk his way out of the situation when he was approached. Man, they ain't got nothing on it. Yeah, he not gonna get arrested, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, dog. That's tough, though. That that, that they really doing this shit and that wasn't the setup, bro. Um, oh, bro, look at this. This should say Vitaly, Myron, and Sneeko caught a man who came to their house with photos, videos of children, and weapons. He was then arrested. Look at this gun. It's a fucking gun. Give me one more shot to my head. Yeah. It's a gun. Of course. Was that a water bottle? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh my God. What is on that? It's a water bottle. That is real. That's a gun. My bad. Let's go, Mark. are cool with me being 37 question mark do you have any other picks and they respond yes we're cool with it are you cool with us being 14 and 15 and you respond well, i know myron eating this shit up boy this motherfucker get to do the law enforcement shit and the content creation shit at the same time yeah this is hard bro <laughs> this is tough dog y'all fight y'all struck gold with this shit me being 37 question mark 37 years old with some little boys getting the whipped cream sprayed on like Oh, that's so fucking, that's disturbing, bro. That's disturbing, my dog. Like, you really got to, and they ain't police, man. Like, Myron and, and, and Vitaly, they can get away with whooping some ass. You know what I'm saying? Get them fucking, before the, pop, the cops pull up, bro. That's crazy, dog. He thought it was finna go down. 
He thought it was about to go down, bro. Mm. So both of you guys are cool with me being 37, question mm. mark. Do mm. you have any other picks? And they respond, yes, we're cool with it. Are you cool with us being 14 and 15? Mm. And you respond, I mean, I just don't want to get in trouble. Mm. You know what I mean? So you knew what you were doing was illegal. Yeah. Possession. And then what was the sex crime that you got arrested for before? So possession. Oh, possession of child pornography. Oh, okay, okay. You phrased it in a way as if it was possession of drugs. Okay. Were you planning on having sex with the two kids that you met today? <sighs> Just keep it real, bro. It's all out there anyway. I mean, you're here with whipped cream on your chest, eating pizza, listening to Nelly out in here. Do you have child pornography on your phone or any devices that you own? Hell yeah, you do. Hell yeah, you do. Do you have child pornography on the phone that you have on your person right now? Yes or no? Hell yeah, you do. True. Have you slept with more than five underage boys or girls? <sighs> Not really. Mm. Five. Wow, more than five. Were you planning to smoke crack with the minors today? Why? <laughs> I, I felt that, bro, because... I be when I be peeping this shit, like with little documentaries or whatnot, and I be seeing the cops or whomever interviewing somebody that has done some extremely fucked up shit that will elicit that type of response from from anyone. Dog, I don't know how them damn cops like Myron. I don't know how that motherfucker just keeping it cool when he just found out this motherfucker was trying to smack smoke crack with a fourteen year old boys. Knowing that he smashed more than five of them, knowing that he got kitty porn on his goddamn phone right now, and that shit hit that much harder when you a pops out this bitch, bro. Feel that, dog. Yeah, damn. I gotta get my. I gotta step out, bro. I'm about to slam this motherfucker's face through the table. Fuck. Why? Mm. Mm. Did you intend to smoke meth and have sex with the boys today? Okay, so smoke the meth, but not have sex with the boys? Or the other way around? Have you ever had an STI or STD? No. Fail. We all got it, brother. <laughs> That's the one that pisses him off. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one that he get tight about, bro. The STIs, the STDs, when y'all hear fucking little boys. Hell no, nah, bro. Do you think I'm attractive? All right, man. They bullshit now. True. Damn, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Damn, I'm not. Because I'm not a little boy. Guys, are you excited? If you know it's wrong, then you know that you should be doing this. Why do you keep doing that? Are you like addicted to it? It's Wednesday. Spread this shit everywhere. You're an asshole when you get fucked in jail. You understand me? You stupid motherfucker. Fucking only fucking murder was legal. I'll fucking pop you right now. Fucking pressing. Damn, they get they letting them go? Get this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fucking disgusting there we go. motherfucker. Wow. Thank you. Fuck. Fuck. It's getting hard in here. That's hard, bro. That's hard, dog. That's hard, bro. That's the thumbnail right there, too. That's fucking tough. Yeah, he out here doing the Lord's work, God's work, kids' work. That's fucking hard, bro. Hey, man. I'm trying to get put on, bro. How I get, how I get put on this shit, man? What? This more? The fuck? Eat slowly. You want to make sure you digest the food. Here. Here, I got it. I got it. Oh, I had it right here. Oh. You can use it as your son. That's your son? He's just sitting there with his fat ass eating pizza with whipped cream on. He's crying. I think he's, can he have some pizza? The fuck you, what, what, what the hell is going on? Here, come, come, I'm missing something? Come, come, sit down. Are you gonna ask him how he's doing? No? 
Son, are you hungry? You want some whipped cream? You want some? You can have a little bit. You hungry? I don't know what the fuck that was. But yeah, this is crazy. That's crazy, bro. Oh, here we go. What is this? A pedophile who illegally crossed into the U.S. says he's going to sue Vit Vitaly Sneeko and Myron for violating his human rights. You got to be fucking you. kidding me, dog. You got me fucked up. I'm saying that you're, you're, you're violating his rights. How am I violating his rights? His human rights. How am I human rights? He met a 12-year-old boy. Do you know what's going to happen to him? He's saying that he's going to court and he's going to say all of this. What happened? Okay. Well, uh, Yo tengo derechos. I got rights. <laughs> hey, the court system is so fucked up, bro. This motherfucker out here flexing nut, thinking he got rights because he's a fucking undocumented alien, bro. Get that shit the fuck out of here. That's 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 crazy. This shit so fucked up here that they'll probably get hooked up in court too, bro. You violated the aliens' right, bro. They got rights, dog. Right? Had this been an American citizen. He go straight to fucking jail, dawg. Bet you his ass get out. You feel me? That's crazy, dawg. You out here fucking with little babies, bruh. Fucking with little kids, dawg. You have no rights. None. You be stripped away. Jail forever and castrated, dawg. I don't give a fuck. That's crazy. That shit is so fucking prominent like this, too, dawg. It's fucking pedophiles everywhere.